Unlike the mainstream media that gets a pass from the violent thugs such as Antifa and other violent far left groups, we need to protect ourselves so that we can bring you the other side of the story. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, I got to tell you something, folks. Back in the early 80s, when I spent three years at the Ryerson School of Journalism learning this craft, I got to tell you, one subject that was never taught was how to protect oneself while practicing journalism in the public square. And I think that's because back in the days of big hair and leg warmers, the idea of reporters being physically attacked while practicing journalism, it was simply unheard of. Well, I mean, you could get a gig as a war correspondent, and if you were dispatched to a battle zone, yeah, that kind of journalism was fraught with danger. But the idea of going into a park or going into the city square and being attacked, absolutely unheard of. But that was then, and this is now, perhaps due to, I don't know, the infiltration of Marxism in our schools. There is this idea that if someone has a differing opinion, they are therefore a Nazi, and therefore the way you respond to a Nazi is with physical violence. It is absolutely outrageous. It is egregious. It is illegal. But that is how so many goons on the far left are acting these days. That is why we started the website journalistdefensefund.com. You see, we sometimes need protection by way of bodyguards when we go out into the public square to practice journalism because the Antifa types, well, they will physically attack our reporters and our cameramen. We're not members of the mainstream media who seem to get a free pass from this kind of violence. I suspect because they have a special place in their hearts for the likes of Antifa. And you know what, folks? You, as always, have come through for us. You have donated generously to journalistdefensefund.com. But the fact of the matter is, we need more. Just in the last two months alone, if you can believe it, we have racked up security bills of more than $15,000. I have them right here, a whole rack that we printed off. I'll just go through a few of them. Here's one for, um, let's see, June 29th, $1,260. Um, again, the same date, $2,940. Another invoice this time for July the 7th, $2,415. As you can see, folks, it racks up. And unlike the mainstream media that gets a pass from the violent thugs such as Antifa and other violent far left groups, we need to protect ourselves so that we can bring you the other side of the story. And I wanna give a big personal thank you because the fact of the matter is, I've probably been the biggest beneficiary of the security and of the bodyguards that have been assigned to protect us when we do practice journalism. So again, folks, especially in these dark days of the Wuhan virus, thank you so much. And you know what, folks, if you haven't had a chance to contribute to the Journalist Defense Fund, please, if you are in a position to do so, think about making that contribution. The fact remains, we need these funds in order to keep our cameramen and reporters safe so that we can bring you the other side of the story. Once again, it is journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com. If you're able to, please log on, make a donation, and ensure that we here at Rebel News can bring you the other side of the story because the fact is, folks, nobody else is going to do so. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, bringing you the other side of the story does not come cheap. Sometimes we need security in order to bring you the other side of the story because there are forces afoot that don't want us to bring you the other side of the story. If you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com and make a donation.